Okay. <laughs> okay, I am back. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, this is a continuation from the last video. Uh, if you happen to see the last video, uh, you saw that I put it on mute and looked up the stairs, and <clears throat> at the top of the stairs was uh, was my uh, my wife, Angie B., and uh, she was crying. She was freaking out. She's crying. I'm going to take these off because well, it's, it's been a... It's been a heck of a, what has it been? Four hours? Because I think I recorded the last one about 10.30, and it is 2.47 right now. It's the same day, uh, March 16th. But, uh, but uh, she came in, she was crying and going crazy because someone had stolen her uh, cell phone. Um, we had, uh, I'm on the wrong one. I'll do that. That ought to make it better. Give you guys some light so you can see what the hell I'm doing here. But she was saying that somebody had stolen her cell phone. Came in just completely freaking out. And um, that's a little better. It's a blue light. I don't know if I like the blue light or not. But let's see if we can tone that down a little bit. There we go. But um, <clears throat> she came in saying that she was out uh, with a friend um, doing some shopping. And while they were bagging up her stuff, she left her phone sitting there. And um, she says that she walked out. They uh, they got into the car, and they were about a block down the road, and she was digging through her stuff, couldn't find her phone. And so that was whenever they turned around, said it wasn't even like 10, 15 minutes. Turned around, came back, and they came in to where they were, and they said, yeah, somebody had turned it in, but... Um, Somebody else claimed it. Somebody else come up and said, you know, well, they, they're missing their phone, and they claimed it, and they walked out with it. And, <clears throat> which is messed up. I mean, it's absolutely messed up. I don't, know, I don't know how it worked. I wasn't there. I can only go by what she was saying and, you know, other stuff. And um, so, <laughs> so this, so she comes home, and she's freaking. She's absolutely freaking. I mean, because as as much as I hate these things, because I hate these things. I, I don't like them. I don't want to carry it around with me. It's terrible. But there's so much of your life invested into this. I mean, it, and it's it's not even like games. And I'm not worried about like Facebook and Twitter and stuff. I get that on a computer. I have my little laptop here. I can do that whenever I want. It's just, it's all the notes and stuff. You know, you just make little notes here and there. And you never think about taking them and putting them on paper, you know, and stuff. And for her... Her entire life is in that phone. She, her notes are nothing but work stuff and passwords and just everything. It's nuts. Uh, this is this is a good this is a good life lesson to uh, not rely on technology so much. So we're we're gonna treat it like that. Let's put it like that. So anyway, she's freaking out about it. She's she's calling she's calling the phone itself she said she called the phone and somebody answered but didn't actually answer it you know and uh so it was like you know she couldn't get through it that way and then she was she was uh you know trying to do other stuff to try to get it and she couldn't you know it wasn't working for her and it was just weird it was like somebody walked out with the phone and they're gonna go sell the phone that's what they're gonna do so she comes back and we call you know we go through the whole thing we go through apple and we go through you know the find the phone thing she couldn't really go through the find the phone stuff because all of her passwords were on her phone. Write your passwords down. Just take a piece of paper. Just take a little tiny piece of paper. Just take a little tiny piece of paper, write all your passwords down, and then take this and put it in a very special place. Like a like a you can buy a little fire safe box for about that big. Just just put it in there. If you lose your phone, you got all your passwords. I don't have to worry about that because it's like all my passwords are very exclusive to every little thing that I do. They're, they're all changed in some way, shape, or form based upon whether it's you know one thing or another or another. <laughs> Plus, I got a really good memory, so I don't need to worry about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, don't don't keep all your eggs in one basket. There's a good one. That's a good one for you. Don't keep all your eggs in one basket. So, anyways, she can't get through there, so she finds out she's locked out of she's locked out of find my phone. She's locked out of Yahoo. She's locked out of this, locked out of that, because she doesn't she can't open anything up. We finally get some stuff working for her. We're able to we're able to lock the phone to where nobody can get into it. If anybody did try to get into it, you know, it would it would automatically shut down. Apparently, that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> spoilers: we got the phone back, but I'll it's the journey towards there. So. 
so she goes through all this and she's, you know, she calls, she calls the police. The police actually come and tell us, you know, look, we can't really do anything about it. Even if we did, if we filed a report, it's not going to come back. He said, the best thing you could do is call Apple directly and tell them, look, my phone is gone. Would you please shut this thing down? You know? So that was probably the best advice we got was from a cop <laughs> that took the time. Thank you to whoever the cop was. that came out and, uh, and told us what to do. So, so, so we call Apple and she's on the phone with Apple for a good 30 minutes or so trying to, trying to get it shut down. They actually say, if anything happens to it, then, you know, you don't have to worry about it. It's locked. It's done. It's set. So after all of that, she goes upstairs she's crying. She's having problems with it. And she's, you know, I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's your life. It's your life. The only reason that we even have phones is because she needs it for work because she works from home and they require her to have an iPhone. So that's what we have. We have iPhones. I never wanted an iPhone, but unfortunately that's what we have because she has to have one and there's a hell of a deal when you get two. Hey, I think her work pays for it too. So, I mean, pays for hers. She just pays for mine and then we're, we're good. So anyways, she goes upstairs. She's freaking and I'm just downstairs and I'm calling the number. You know, and I get somebody to pick up, but he won't talk to me. And I'm like, hello, is there anyone there? Will you talk to me, please? Hello? And nothing. So I say, you know what? Let's text it. Let's t because, you know, they'll show up on the screen. And I said, look, no questions asked. Just give us back the phone. That's all we want. And, you know, I, I just, I kept trying to call and he wouldn't answer and he wouldn't answer and wouldn't answer. And I said, seriously, no questions asked. We're not, we're not going to. And we're not going to make anything out of it. We just want the phone back. That's all we want. We just want the phone back. So then I decided to call again. And lo and behold, somebody actually picked up. Freaked me the hell out, man. I For, for the majority of the day after that phone call, I was like this. I was shaking. It's crazy. So we worked the thing out. And I, I kept telling him, I said, man, we just want the phone back. We just don't want the phone back. And, uh. He was like, okay, you know, fine. I'll I'll meet you downtown at a place. I, I said, cool, we'll just go do it, you know, whatever. And we'll treat it as lost and found and go, because I don't care if he's stolen or not. So uh, we get down there. We stopped at ATM, got some money. Got down there, finally got it. And uh, he was he was really cool about it. The entire time that we were going, we were just, we were just praying to God. We we're just like, God, just let this not be somebody that's, going to try to hurt us <laughs> let it let it just be easy let it be easy and and you know just let it not be something crazy so we we get down there and the guys he's just like you know i found it uh, you know i i was down there where he was at the same place where where she was and he happened to pick it up um he said he didn't take it from anybody he just happened to pick it up and was wanting to try to give it back to somebody. So I don't know. I don't think he claimed it so much as I think he found it and maybe somebody else talked to him about it. And he just said, look, I'll hold on to it until somebody calls. And maybe he couldn't trust the people that was calling. I don't know. According to Angie, she was calling the phone constantly and he just wasn't picking up. I don't know. I don't know. He said that, that he saw it. He saw it come up, but he just didn't know if he should you know, if he should accept it because somebody else's phone, you don't know. So whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it honestly doesn't matter. Uh, God granted us our prayers on that one. We really did. We threw the guy 20 bucks and a $20 gift card for food because he said he was homeless. Yeah, he's a homeless guy. Just happened to be out there. And um, we were like, look, man, here, this is, this is what we can do. You know, it was... It was what it was, and um, we got out of there okay. We're back now, and <laughs> four hours later, uh, I'm beat up. I really am. Um, I know I was on a roll on that last episode. <laughs> about coming. What was it even about? It was about the spiritual awakening. All right, yeah, it's just, whew. man. It goes without saying. Today, I think is a is a good uh, a prime example that um, if if you ask and have faith, I think uh, God will provide for you. I think is what it is. You know, it, it it was 
I chalked it up as a lesson in a lesson in humility, a lesson in patience, and a lesson in trust. Because there was all three of those hit us right in the face all at once. We we had to we had to be patient about it. Uh, we had to we had to definitely take humility in it because she laid it down, you know. And and I've we've we've gone through this before with her. She's she laid her phone down. She actually laid her phone down on top of a car. And they drove for about 20 miles before the speed got so fast that the the phone blew off the top of the car on a highway. <laughs> we actually found the phone. Believe it or not, we found the phone. I had to drive. I had to drive uh, an hour and a half up north in the town they were in because she was in a different town. And she called me from up there saying, I can't find my phone. <laughs> so it was just nuts. And she came, she came all the way back here. And uh, so I drove all the way back the next day uh, with her. And we scoured the road. We scoured every place she could have gone. We scoured the overpass. We scoured, <clears throat> we scoured everything. And then it was just randomly on the way, way back out of town. I just happened to see something lying on the side of the road. And I'm like, oh, that's it. It was in pieces. It was like five pieces, and that was it. It was a phone. So <laughs> we've we've gone through this before, but I today the entire way up there, I'm just like Lord, just just let us get this done. Just let it happen. Let it work, please, please God. Just just let this happen. Let this guy be cool. Let him not try to you know roll us for something stupid because we didn't know. You know the story we were going on was that. This guy picked up a phone. He could have stolen a phone. It, it, when I talked to him, he just sounded a little strange. Uh, he was stuttering a lot. You know, he just, it sounded a little weird to me. Let's put it that way. I don't want to say too much about it because he did a good thing. You know, I I, I appealed to him and, and he, he said, he said something weird. Oh, he did say something weird. He said, he said something about something about God knows that God knows that I needed to give this phone back or something weird. I don't know what it was. It it made me do a double take while we were standing there. I might call Angie. I might ask her because it it was it was really strange. It was a really strange kind of thing, and um. But it just, it just seemed like the cherry on top of the whole deal, you know? It just seemed like it worked out. So I don't know, man. Something was at work there. Something was at work there that was not us. That's all I got to say, I, you know? And, and I, just, I just kept having faith the whole time that we were going to find it. You're calling. I mean, no matter how much I get, I was getting through. I said, "Look, I'm going to call this until somebody answers the phone. I'm going to get the phone back." It's just all there is to it because I know that I know that it just can't end this way. It's not going to end this way. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to sit here and ask God for Him to help us get this get this going, and He's going to help us. That's what it was. That was exactly what it was. It's a crazy day. Spiritual awakening. <laughs> I have to laugh, man. It's just it's so glorious. It's so gloriously beautiful. Uh, it, was, it was an adventure. I'll tell you what. And I don't even remember where I was going with the video. I don't know what I was going to say. I don't remember where I was going. I know I was going to bring up... Uh... <sighs> I can't think of any of it. I should just stop while I'm ahead. But I wanted to make sure that I made this part of the video. That way we would all know that, you know, I wasn't just running out. Just I mean, that was an emergency right there. And, and it was, that was truly crazy and we were truly blessed. And, uh, man, that's good stuff. We got to sort it out. I'll praise God. He helped us on that one. He really did.
Thank you, Lord. But, uh, if I remember what I was going to say, I'll say it next time. Let's put it that way. Maybe not even next week. I don't know. Next week we're doing March birthday lunches or dinners or something. It's like I, everybody in my family has a birthday in March, pretty much. Uh, me, my mom, uh, my cousins, I think my uncle, but I don't know if he's going to be there or not. But they decided because because my grandmother's in the hospital right now. She's having problems with her back. She might be having surgery. My mom is constantly in the hospital. She's got a uh, degenerative nerve disease. It's pretty bad. And um, she was taking this diabetes medication that's making her bones brittle. She's already lost, like, I want to say pretty much all of her fingers. I mean, yeah, all of her fingers. Like, no matter what she does, her bones are so weak that if she does something to her finger, she cracks the inside of that bone, and then her finger gets infected to the point to where they have to lop it off. So she's she doesn't have any fingers, any fingertips, I don't think, on any of her fingers. It's, it's pretty bad, man. She's 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 got it going pretty bad. Um... I pray for her when I can because she's she's not doing too well. Uh, other than the you know the whole degenerative nerve thing, it's it's a blood thing. I could have it. I don't know. <laughs> Just have to wait and see because they can't. They can test me, but I don't. That at this point, I'm like, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't because I am. Just going to leave it in God's hands. You know, we'll go from there. See what's up. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at my PlayStation. That's, that's the light that I got the TV on. I got the PlayStation. They're talking about PlayStation Plus. I can't worry about that right now. I did get a job. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I got a job. So I got to go back to work on Monday. Be pretty nice. <sighs> I'm going to get off. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, two-parters, man. I'm not going to edit it. To, I, I'm not going to edit this together because I've already said that my editing software is just crap. So it's just going to be two separate videos. So you're going to have to watch the first. If you don't understand anything that happened here, go watch the first one. Um... I don't remember all the stuff that I was going to say on that spiritual awakening. It was going to, it was going to flow into a lot of, you know, just a lot of the people waking up and, and, and the, the whole 144,000 thing, even though I, I, that's not it. I think that's exactly what it was. I think it's what it was. We were talking about the, uh, she had made a joke about the 144,000. And I saw a video like the next day where, where there's kids saying the 144,000 have not been activated yet. We haven't all been activated yet. And I started thinking, that's not what it is, but it could be, you know, it's, I've said it, I've said it, it goes three ways. You could take the Bible literally, you could buy, take the Bible figuratively, and you could take the Bible spiritually. And that may be what it is. Maybe there has to be 144,000 of us waking up like this, spreading the message the way that we do. And maybe that's it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't consider myself part of that, though. I mean, if I am, I am. I don't know. I, I haven't been I haven't been compelled to look into it. So I, I don't know. If I am, then then hey, cool. You know, if not, I'm not going to worry about it. The God is still open my eyes, and I'm still grateful every day that that I get to see this thing. <laughs> I get to see the other side of the world that that a lot of people don't see and don't understand, and I can I can use that to hopefully open other people's eyes. Hopefully, I don't know. Anyways, you guys take it easy. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Don't doesn't matter at this point. Um, for anybody that thinks I'm trying to do this for money, <laughs> I can go, I can show you how much money I've made in my YouTube career. <laughs> and, and then I can, I can ask you, do you really think I'm, I'm making money off this? Do you really, really think I'm making money off this? Uh, unbelievable. So anyways, you guys take it easy. Uh, until next time, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors and I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Save often. Save often, you hear me? God bless y'all. Seriously. Don't be afraid to ask for guidance if you need it. 
He even I I think even even if you don't believe, if you just ask, just ask and and just let it be known that that you're at least trying. I think that he'll open he'll open your eyes for you. Maybe open your heart. Just all it is. Take it from a guy that was just a nobody. I'm a nobody. Take it take it from that. You know, I, one day I, I finally sat down and said, look, Lord, I'm, I'm a sinner. I probably don't deserve it, but you have shown me that, or I, I have recognized that you have shown me that year after year after year, you've led me to this point, and I probably do not deserve it. For all of the terrible, terrible things I've done in my life, I I probably do not deserve it. I said, God, if if you'll be willing to take me, save me right now, <laughs> man. And it's like I said, he didn't do it all at once. He fill he's he's filling me up slowly. I already said I I have times where I backtrack and I do stupid stuff and I have bad thoughts and you know it is what it is and. He's helped. He's helped a lot, and it's it's been a uh, it's been a very interesting experience. Hopefully, I can remember a lot of this next week. I gotta stop. Thank you guys again for watching. You guys take it easy, and um, God bless y'all.